Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. PCBWay is a full feature custom PCB prototype service where they will build custom PCB boards um, to your design specifications. They also do have other things that they can make. They do CNCing, uh, 3D printing, sheet, ma sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, as well as assemblies with all the components where you can either get them pre-assembled or you get everything printed individually and then you can get it sent to you that way. Right now, for first-time users, they have a special where it's $5 for 10 pieces with the cost of shipping. Which, once you get to that point, you can see here there are hundreds of options to create your PCB boards. Everything from the different layers to what they're made out of, how big you need it, how small you need it, what you need on it, as well as even something as simple as the, as the coloring. So thank you again to PCBWay for sponsoring this video, and we will get back to mine. Have a good day. Hello everyone, Andrew here, Fixology again. Uh, thank you to PCB Way for the sponsorship for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, commercial that I, the ad that I made in the beginning. Still not very great ad, but you know, it's my first time doing it. So we're just tackling it as we go. So uh, I got something fun. Um, found found some of these on, uh, on eBay. Somebody was selling packs of Game Boy games which are in various states of repair. They said broken, working, not working for parts, so that kind of thing. So uh, paid a few bucks for it, and we're going to see which ones are working and which ones are not. So, and I got it like maybe a day or two, day ago, and it's still 100% sealed, so I haven't even looked at it yet. So we're going to look at this together. Hopefully we'll have some goodies in here. Okay, so I have, so what they say on there, not working. I mean, the ads are different, but... Okay, what do we got here? Various Nintendo games. Put the bag off to the side. All right, let's see here. We have a Game Boy. Game Boy, Nintendo, Game Boy, blah. Pokemon Pinball, awesome. I think that's a Rumble Pack, right? Yeah. I think I had this game when I was a kid. Let's see, we got Game Boy Advance Namco Museum, so all some of the old classic games. It's got the little tri-wing on it. Snood? Uh, not sure what that one is. Okay. I'm um, guessing a Mega Man game. I do not speak Japanese, unfortunately. Will this one work in an American uh, Game Boy? I'll have to double check that. And a DS game. I didn't expect a DS game. Can these be? I don't think I've ever seen a D somebody take apart a DS game. I guess we'll find out if we can actually work on these at all. So first thing I'll do is we'll test it, which uh, actually just looking around, I forgot my Game Boy. So give me one sec. Uh, I think I have an SD somewhere as well. Hold on. Well, maybe should have paused that first, but oh well. So I have my Game Boy SP. This guy's seen quite a bit of work. Um, let me make sure it's still on. Oh, it's powered. Good. All right. Take my game out. No! It fell. Ah. Put my game to the side. Advance Wars. Fantastic game. I love that thing. All right. So I got my Game Boy Advance SP. I know mine's a little rough. This one I actually took with me to overseas. So this thing's definitely seen some shit. Yeah, pretty scuffed up, sand marks all over, dirt everywhere, but honestly, it's all just surface marks. It's not dirty itself, which I'm great grateful for, so. All right, uh, first things first, let's try the pinball. It looks like it's missing the cover, and those, those connections look quite corroded. So, let me grab a AAA, because I did not anticipate a AAA, but I know I have some lying around. Alright, so, okay, and you know what I'll do, just to prove a point first, this SP is 100% working, I 
So this SP is a good one. So let's throw you in. Hopefully that battery won't fall out. I mean, if it works, I gotta find either I gotta find a case for it or I gotta um, maybe just tape it in temporarily. But see what happens here. Ooh, got the got the nice little disc color down there. So we definitely have something going on. Hmm. Do I have a flashlight nearby? Do I have a flashlight nearby? No, of course I don't because I that would be too smart. All right, well. Ooh, I can definitely see corrosion from this side, so. All right, so let's start with this guy. Let's open it up and see what we can find. Um, what are those? Those are the weird, uh, like, sort of Torix? I think my, I brought the charger just in case because I wasn't sure if it was gonna work, if my SP was charged. I haven't used it in a while. Um. I think I have that one. Was it this guy? No. No. Hmm. I know it's a weird one. I thought I had it. If I don't, I'll be super disappointed. Because then I'm going to have to do it a... A uh, not so not so economic way. Hmm. Okay, I guess I need a different connector. So let's see here. How can I twist those suckers out? Maybe I can use a tweezers. Oh yeah, that works. I know some of you are gonna be like, "What the hell is he doing?" I I anticipated the triangle ones like on these guys, the the tri wings. But I didn't anticipate these ones at all. I don't know if the tri wings are specifically only for advanced Game Boy, Game Boy Advance games, but Well, this one's coming out. So that's one down for me. Just the rest out by hand now? Yep. Okay. Oops, you probably take the battery out. I mean, it's getting power, but uh, we'll, we'll take a look at all that once I open it up. So put the battery to the side for now. Oh, uh, okay. So you know, I don't have anything for that. I guess I'm going to have to look up the tool for it. Thought I had it. Okay, well. Ooh. That one's pretty stuck. There we go. All right. Eh. Are you? All right. All right. So after the initial open, it comes out pretty pretty easily. So okay. So we got a left and a right. So now these should just pry right open. There we go. Okay, there's the vibrate at the top. Ooh. Look at all that dirty, dirty corrosion. Or it might not be corrosion, but it's definitely eating away. Well, maybe the stuff on the right here, that's definitely corrosion right over there. Um, yeah, it's eating away here, but it doesn't look like it took off any of the any of the coating. Just probably needs to be cleaned up. The backside. Ah, that looks sketchy. Oh boy. It's all bubbly and shitty looking. Oh boy. Well, oh, that looks really watered out too. But nothing's, nothing's here. Huh. Okay, well, let's start with the obvious and. I'm gonna flip this guy like this. And I'm gonna start with cleaning up all of this, which I'm gonna use some contact cleaner to clean that off, so. And 
then I'm going to take brush and we're going to go over it and see what I can find. Uh, I'm noticing corrosion on this chip too here. Hopefully it's not too bad, but I'm going to try and go as smooth as possible. So hopefully it won't, um, the camera won't move too much. So that's just corrosion down here by the connector, which if I have to, I guess I can just put some solder on it, just solder straight through it, but I gotta clean off that first. My contact cleaner didn't get any out, anything off, so let's try with uh, just a little alcohol. Put some little bit everywhere. I'm thinking this one might be a lost cause because I'm seeing I'm seeing bits eaten away by this main chip here. This this chip right here, if you look right at the top. Um, I'll try and do one where I can look into my little um, microscope here and see if I can uh, splice it in. Which I managed to do in my last video, so I'm happy that I figured that out. Maybe I can get a little more advanced now, so... I have to replace that entire piece, so this might be another might be another video where I'll have to come through and double check it. I mean, one side's a lot better. This side's a lot better than the other one. I'm gonna have to take like a a Dremel with like a soft grind wheel or something to get this off. Pretty caked on there. But if I'm looking close at it, none of the tracks look messed up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this my corrosion pen here. And I'm just going to go over, go over all the pins. And then we'll clean it off with some isopropylene and see if that does any difference. I know this is super exciting, me cleaning pins off. But that's that's what I'm that's what I do. I mean I like to do the long unedited, which I think I'll make a poll soon. Do you guys want to see the like longer unedited ones like these, you know, where I'm just sitting here, sometimes not talking, sometimes talking, or would you rather prefer the more cut up one that you see in the mainstream stuff? I mean, I can do it, it just takes longer to edit and obviously I'm not that skilled in it, so I'm still kind of learning. Oh, those definitely look cleaner. Compared to what it was last, compared to what it, was, what it just was. But what I need to do is... I 
I mean, I think that connection here is still decent, but there's a whole bunch of corrosion underneath. You can see all underneath there. Um, and it's all eaten up on this board. So I am not sure if this is gonna work. But the plating's fine. It looks like it's just surface corrosion. It looks like it's tight. And it's soldered there, so that's the important part. Yeah, there's still some stuff down here, though, that I'm really worried about. There's still some eaten up pieces, some pieces that are folded up. Um, and then I got some crap up here, it looks like, too, up in this corner. Give it a shot, see what it looks like. So, I mean, if it works, great. If it doesn't, I mean, I didn't pay much for this. I mean, that's just that's just so bad. I'm thinking this thing's just 100% toast. But the solder points at the top, like these parts are still solid, and the corrosion on there is there, but it's not at the same time. It's not in the way. It's more surface based. So, it might be we might be okay. But I don't, I'm guessing because I saw corrosion all over that small chip there. I'm guessing something's probably screwed. Uh, so let's put it back in. Nice and tight. All right, let's see what happens. Okay. That's oh, a black bar. Okay. All right. Oops, I forgot to take the battery out. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I don't like doing the cut stuff, but I'm gonna cut real quick and I'm gonna take a look at something under my microscope. If I'm able to figure out how to pull it from this old microscope I'll I will do that and show you guys um, but if not you'll probably just, you'll just have to take my word for it but I'm guessing this chip is probably toast because of all that corrosion that's right there so I will be right back all right I'm back sorry for the cut um so unfortunately when I was looking under the micro microphone I saw some areas that were definitely like corroded um, like we're worried about this chip right here which it is DMS. Hold on, hold on, can't read. Uh, VPHE-0. Um, it's obviously not a, it's not this chip, but I don't know if we can even find these one anymore, but um, when I was looking under the microscope, the pads are completely gone on this half. Well, not completely, but mostly gone. This half's actually not bad. They got some surface corrosion, but... And then this pin over here, when I look under my microscope, the actual arm to the chip is missing, so it got completely rotted away. So I don't think there's a chance of bringing it back, but what I did is I did reflow all the, all the legs that I could with my small little micro tip. So I'm going to put it together, and we're going to double-check it and see if we get lucky. Honestly, don't have high hopes for it, but, you know... You don't know unless you try, right? So let's put this away. Okay, so I got my battery in. Ugh. Okay, so that's nice and tight. Yeah, because like I said, one arm's completely gone, so I don't think there's anything that I can do to fix this. Eh, we got a little different of one, so maybe it made a difference, but... I'm gonna say this one is 100% borked, so we really don't have much of a chance with this guy. So, sadly, this one is gonna be a Garbo one, which is unfortunate because I really like Pokemon Pinball as a kid. Played it a lot. Okay, well, on to the next game. So let's go with let's go with Mega Man here. 
So it doesn't look too bad. The teeth look decent from what I can see. So let's find out. Got it in. Nothing. Hmm. Blowing it. Maybe there's some dust in it. So let's just try one more time. Nada. Hmm. I wonder if that's the battery. Can't remember. Okay, well, this one I actually have the connection for, the correct bit for, so I can actually open this the right way instead of janky-assing it with this with the tweezers. Uh, tri-wing, 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 or Y-wing, or, you know, triangle, whatever. Uh, where is you, where is you? You? No. I know this kid has it. Where the hell did it go? Or does it not? Is this it? Nope, way too big. All right. Well, um, I wonder if it's the same or close to the same charming as the as like the iPhones. Yeah, yeah, it works. It's a little small, but it'll work. So I'm guessing it's probably a one. Yeah, because it's a point six. So okay, well, that's out. Let's uh. Come on. Oh yeah, and slides. All right. Let's see here. Looks pretty good. Contact points are pretty clean. Drop it out. Nah. I don't like that discoloration on the back side. What am I gonna see? Ooh. I wonder if that's just dirt. Um. I guess we can find out real quick. So. Put a little alcohol on it. Hmm. It looks like rust. Like just straight up surface rust. So let's see if that contact cleaner will do better on it. Just let it sit. Can't tell if any of the traces are broken. There's definitely something on top of it. Maybe it got exposed to water? <laughs> I'm gonna go test all these arms real quick, see if any of them are a little bit loose. Yeah, those are good. I am not ambidextrous, but I should be able to do this at least. Eh, eh. Yeah. All right, nothing moving on that. That's good. And this is when I wish I had a proper setup where I could have like a camera with like a bigger monitor so I can just look exactly what, what's on here. In time, in time. Okay. Yeah, nothing smells burnt. That battery though is Probably ancient. Let's uh let's see if it's still got any voltage on it. So it's a lithium. Looks like a sixteen thirty two or sixteen twenty five maybe. Oops, I don't need you. So let's go to come on brain. There we go. Go to DC. Three point one volts, so the voltage should be good. Okay. Hmm. I mean, the contacts aren't horrible, unless it's actually just a failure on the chip itself. I mean, I'd have to unsolder this one to double check that, which I guess I can do. That's not super hard, but you know, let's do the obvious thing first. Let's clean off the contact points. We 
which I'm gonna use this cool little pen. I've used this thing on a couple and it seems to do pretty well. It's not about being super rough, just getting a little bit of the, I guess like a chalkish material or something like that. I mean, it does take off the corrosion, so it's pretty good. You notice they got a little more of a gleam compared to the stuff that's coming up to, so. Wipe off that. Put a little alcohol on a Q-tip. It's definitely got more of a shine now. Okay. All right, looks a little cleaner. Let's see if it makes a difference. Ooh, actually, I just realized, look at that. We have some liquid damage in the corner. Where was that at? Where was that at? So it sits like, it sits like this. So it's gonna be in this top left corner. But it looks like it never hit anything. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. I mean, it's still got that little surface surface, which I guess if a track's broken, that would make sense. All right, well, let's just put it together and see what happens. Unless it's simply because this is a Japanese game, obviously 100% Japanese. I don't know if this will work on my SP, because I think my SP is an American. Which, actually, I don't know if that's for Game Boys. I know it's for, like, uh, Game Cubes. But I don't know if it's for Game Boys. Uh, uh, model AGS-001, so that's a US one, so. All right, well, let's find out. So I got it cracked in here. Everything's clean that way. Whoops, wrong way. Okay, maybe this one I should probably at least tighten it up a little bit so it doesn't move on me. So note to self, I have to find a bigger Y-wing, which honestly isn't too hard to find. I mean, Amazon to click away. Let's we'll see if that makes a difference. Hmm. Absolutely nothing. Okay. I am going to unsolder the battery so we can take a look at the chip underneath. Be right back. All right, so I got it taken apart. I got the battery off. Battery's still testing out fine. Um, chip doesn't look like it's any damage. A little bit, you know, worn out, but that's normal. All the legs are tight, so uh, I'm gonna throw it under my microscope again, and we will see what happens. Um, it's more cuts than I normally do, but that's just because this is, you know, tedious work. So I don't want to. I don't want to waste too much time looking through these because I still got two more in the DS to go through. Or maybe I'll just split this into two videos, you know, maybe cut it at like half hour, 35 minutes, just so you don't get super bored with me being silent and not amusing in any way. So um, I'm going to throw it on the microscope, see what I can find. I'll be right back. All right. So what I saw on here is what maybe some of you probably noticed in the first place is um, there is some corrosion for sure. And, um, I don't know if the memory card in this thing's working. This is a cheaper electronic uh, microscope. I don't, ha I don't have the money for like a really high-end one. So, you know, this is what I have right now, which I want to get a high-end one. But, you know, that costs money. So we'll see what happens in the end. But there are definitely some water damaged uh, or some corrosion damaged le uh, connections. Um Continuity checks are all over the place, so they're just not getting proper connection. So what I think I might do is make this a separate video of where I attempt my micro solder skills and hopefully I can fix this one. Cause it looks like I got like maybe, I don't know, half dozen, eight uh, connections that are um, pretty much toast at this point. So I'm gonna see what I can do and make them not be crap anymore, so. And they're all ones that connect to the main chip as well, or at least uh, they're all the ones that uh, are connecting to this chip on the back side. I'll zoom in as much as I can, but you notice that a lot of them are dark and discolored. And then also I got these like white uh, little like lines all the way around the outsides. 
especially like, uh, let's see here. There was one pretty obvious, like this guy right here. That's all corrosion that ate away at that connector. So, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll hold this one to the side, and I think I'll make that a separate video. So let me clean up and put it all back together, and we will move on to the next one. So I'll be right back again. I was really hoping I could get at least one of these guys running again. But sometimes this is how it crumbles, especially when you buy stuff off of eBay. But, you know, it's it's some content. It's something different. It takes me out of my comfort zone, which then I end up learning from it. Because, I mean, honestly, the most soldering that I mostly do is, like, bigger component boards or, um, like, maybe HDMI ports on, you know, uh, consoles. So... Which are obviously a lot, probably honestly easier to work on than small stuff like this. But so what I'll do is just check one more time, just for the hell of it. Yeah, still nothing. So, so what I'll do is I'll make this one a separate video, and we'll go from there. So, you know, I think I'll end off this video with going with the DC one, with the Nintendo DC and Nintendo DS. Blah. So we need to, if I remember correctly, I think these just crack open from the top. Because there's no screw. Is there? No. I remember seeing these being opened up once. It shouldn't be a screw. It should just be like, you just got to crack them along the edge. Well, you know what? First, let's see if it actually works at all. Uh, I have an old DS here. I think this is a DS. I, don't, I haven't used it in freaking years. It's a 3DS. 3DS still play DS games? I guess we'll find out. Um, now, the question is, does it run? Oh, it is deader than a doornail. Okay, hold on. I know the cable is in here. That's a cable. All right. So this is going to look pretty janky, but do that. And then hook it up to the back side here. Okay. Come on. Do I have to wait a certain amount of time? Normally you just power right on. This is 100% dead. Well, you know what? Let's... Ooh, I can already see corrosion on the ends there. No bueno. Well, let's see what happens. No, not that way. This way? There we go. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a few minute cut just to. Make let this sit for a while. Maybe this needs to charge up a little bit before it turns on, kind of like a cell phone. So, uh, give me a sec. I'll be right back. All right, I got it going. Um, where the hell's the pen? There it is. Whoa. All right, so nothing inserted in the game slot. Okay, well, tis what it is. I haven't used this thing in forever. Okay, whatever. All right, so. Okay, so I'm gonna put that to the side real quick. It's gonna keep charging. Okay, so. Do I need to use like a blade or something? do it. Is it actually something I have to cut open physically? I 
Because otherwise, why would they put these little points in the side where they like clearly say, oh, clip, pick me open here. And it clearly won't. Mm. All right, hold on. I'm going to have to double check this. One second. All right, looks like it is adhesed together. And it's recommended to start in the round corner. Which then makes me think, what if I put a little bit of alcohol on it? And I make the adhesive... Should make the piece a lot weaker then, right? Maybe I don't need to be as invasive then. Okay, there we go. There I'm hearing it pop. Don't go too deep, it should be fine. Oops, not that's a little too deep. Come on. Okay. Maybe I don't use something that's sharp. That way I don't risk cutting myself or damaging something else. So I'll use an SSMO. Oh, they always make it look so effortless. I need to get my bread and butter back in. I need to get, start getting some regular screens again. All I'm finding is the weird stuff lately. But you know, it broadens my broadens my knowledge base. I'm okay with trying something new, but there we go. But I want to show the easy repairs that everybody can do, not these pain in the butt ones that nobody can seem to do. All right, there we go. Okay, so it honestly just looks like those tabs are just super corroded. So let's try the cleaner. Yeah, it looks look good. Unless the chips just completely fry, but I don't think it is. Because it can't fry in itself because there's nothing no electricity running through it. Okay, let's uh let's try my corrosion pencil again. Ooh, yeah, look at that, it just it rubs it almost straight off. I mean, it'll leave some marks, obviously, because it's eaten away at a little bit of the plate at the plating, but it seems to work pretty well. I really gotta put an X right on my mat so I know exactly where the middle of my camera is. much better now but those points on there uh, that's actually rust I guess I can check continuity ah, this is gonna look this is gonna look fantastic on my video this is gonna look fantastic This one 
goes to you. Right? Well, that's a gr that's a ground, so shouldn't even worry about that one. Why not? So I can't do it in all of them. Okay. I mean, honestly, that one just looked like it was super dirty. Uh, but the plating is pretty worn away on a couple of them. It's almost, almost silver on some of them. I wonder if I can angle it just right so you can see. That's going to be hard to tell, but this, these couple here are pretty worn away. Isopropylene. And then I'll throw a little contact cleaner on there too, because why the hell not? blow off the extra yeah the backs look super clean no dead spots on that so okay well just throw it in and see what happens maybe we'll get lucky and then if this ends up working, I'll just put some glue around the outside to hold it in place. But for now, it has a little, a small clip in there. Nothing huge, but it has a small clip. So, so let's turn this bad boy on first. I like how I have this DS, and I don't think I've, I don't think, I don't think I've used it in freaking years. Okay, nothing is in the game slot. All right. Now, I guess the question is, can three notifications, okay, whatever, that way, don't care. I guess the real question is, can 3DS games play regular DS games? That is the only thing I am unsure about right now. Still says nothing. I put it in the right way, right? Oh, yeah, it doesn't go in the other way, so. <laughs> I guess I'll have to double check that real quick. I'd use my phone, but my phone's my camera. Yeah, I'm just going to go quickly double check that. Hold on again, I'm sorry. All right, so I was right on my hunch. It does play, but also I haven't used this in forever, so you know what? Let's throw a game in there just to make sure my, my uh, 3DS isn't bad. So let's see what happens here. I got Mario Super Mario Bros. 2. Okay, so it picks it up right away. Okay, so. Hmm. Still nothing. All right, well, I'm 0 for 3. Okay, I wonder if this one's the chip is shot. So I guess I gotta figure out how to test how to test the chip on it, or maybe there's a way to replate the uh, connect replate this back part because, like I said, there's a couple holes, but I'd say nothing that eh. And they all had continuity. I guess I'll have to um, figure out if there's a way to test the chips. I don't have to go through and test test every arm, see if there's a short anywhere. But outside of that, you know, that might be another video or something like that where I just, uh, you know, maybe I'll just do it like a little video be like, hey, this is how you test these kind of chips. That way, you know, it's something easy to find and 
won't be too difficult to figure out. So I am going to call it here in this video. I know we still got two more to check out. We still have the Namco Museum and whatever the hell Snood is. I've never heard of this game. Anyway, um, so hopefully these ones can be fixed. But, you know, I I got three of them so far that have failed me. Not super, not super happy about that. But, you know, you live and learn, and it's a not much of an investment. Like I said, I think it was like only like 15, 20 bucks to get these five games and we'll see, and to see which ones worked and which don't. So I guess I will hold off until the next one. Uh, thank you again to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. And if you guys do need anything like that, any sort of PCB boards, cut, and I mean, um, molded, cut, printed, whatever it is, uh, feel free to hit them up. They offer a good discount for first-time customers. Until the next video, though, I will see you all later. Bye.